Hi everyone, my name is Anthony Rees and today I'm going to show you how to do a Chef server install. So I've basically gone and stood myself up a RHEL uh, 7 instance on AWS and I'm just going to log into that now. So just temp folder. Okay. And I'm going to follow through uh, on the instructions that are on docs.chef.io, uh, essentially just following through all of these particular steps. The machine that I've stored up here is, uh, is a RHEL, RHEL 7 machine, uh, but I've also opened a number of ports as well. Now, this machine doesn't have wget. No, it doesn't. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start by installing wget, which you may or may not have to do. So I'm just doing a yum install to do wget. And then once I've done that, I'll then go and download the package that I need, uh, which is the relevant one for this version of, uh, of Red Hat. So I've already gone onto the site and had a look at packages.chef.io and I've picked the version that I want. I'm going to install uh, the Chef server uh, core version, which is 12.17. And so I'll download that now. And once I've downloaded it, it's really just simply uh, running the RPM command. So do that and then just reference the the, uh, the RPM that I downloaded, and that will then go and extract it and uh, perform the installation for me. So once I've done that, I can then go and, uh, and start reconfiguring the machine itself. So that'll take a little while to, to extract and, and perform the install. And after that, I'll run the reconfigure command and as part of this install too, I will also go and install the Chef Manage UI as well. So that's just about finished doing that. And I can now do the reconfigure. The reconfigure takes a little while to finish. Probably takes about maybe three, maybe four minutes uh, to run. Uh, and as long as you don't get any stack traces or anything like that, you, you're pretty much pretty much good to go. So rather than you having to watch me go through uh, all of this, what I might do. So once that's finished, then what we're going to go and do is we will create, we'll create our users. So the first user that we're going to create is going to be uh, a user for myself. And after that, we will then create an organization. So the user will be what, I, what I'm using to verify myself with, with, Chef, uh, with the Chef server. Uh, the organization will be used then uh, to be able to verify itself uh, when I'm when I'm uh, bootstrapping my nodes. So um, I'll be able to use that um, and the PEM key that's associated with it as well. So we'll create, we'll create both of those. So the next command that we're gonna use uh, on the chef server uh, control is the user create command. That command is basically creating the PEM key for me. And then after that, we need to go and create the organization. Right, so we've created both of those, the user and the organization. Now I'm gonna install Chef Manage. Chef Manage is the UI. So we're gonna go and get the package. And the instructions for that are also on this page as well. And it's basically, here it is here. So uh, the Chef Management Console 
you, you basically use to be able to manage your run list, your roles, your environments, uh, et cetera, et cetera. And once it's up, we'll log in and, uh, and make sure that, that we can see the, the Chef Manage website. Okay, so that's finished. Now we need to uh, reconfigure the Chef server. All right, so you can see the version that I'm running, which is the version 12, the one that I wanted. And then once that's finished, then I can run, I can reconfigure the Chef Manage control in. So now we need to accept the terms and conditions of the license. Type yes, and it'll go and apply it. So the IP address of my machine is this. I'll just let that, that finish. Now to make it work, make sure that you've opened port 80 uh, so that you can obviously get to HTTP and you'll also need 443 open as well um, to make sure that this works. Okay, so it's telling us that we haven't installed it yet, so it hasn't finished. So let's just check it again. And there we go. So this is the username and password that I created before. And there we have it, we're in. So of course, at the moment, we don't have um, any nodes associated uh, to it. So in the next video, what we'll do is we'll go and we'll add a node um, and uh, register it with the chef server and then after that we'll go and uh, in the third video and we'll do the chef automate install as well i hope you found this uh, helpful have a great day